So this will be a sneak peek into All Sorrel. Uh, my name is Sean and I've been at All Sorrel for five years now. My current role is a duty manager. Um, I'm Alan and I've just joined OSRL, uh, coming in on two years, and I am also a responder. I wanted to do uh, what I love, which is traveling and actually working outdoors. I don't like staying behind a desk too much, and this just brought two of the things that I wanted to do together. I think the most memorable one would probably be um, me being sent out to an isolated offshore incident. Um, it was a high pressure environment where quick decisions needed to be made. Mm -hmm. In hindsight, there was a, a mix of emotions before I was sent out. Um, anxiety, excitement, um, and also um, a bit nervousness as well. <laughs> yeah, so, um, but actually when I got there on site, reported to the incident command team, uh, my instincts and my training kicked in uh, based on my experience here at Olsara. As a duty manager, yeah, we, we definitely deal with not only um, industry, but we also deal with government organisations as well, trying to develop that preparedness side of things. At Olsara, there's a lot of different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. uh, myself, I'm a chemical engineer. I know that there's police officers, there's fire, firefighters, um, really, all these different backgrounds come together as a whole to form some a functioning team. So it's about learning from one another and actually looking out for one another mm -hmm. because when we are out there on a spill or when we are out there training, um, you may not always see the hazards that present itself or you may not be always seeing what's going on in front of you. but. Your, your, your friend does mm. and, and that's where camaraderie comes into to play because I mean you're working together and you're looking out for one another constantly. Mm. Basically on a spill there's a lot of different goals, different objectives and also different personalities. Mm -hmm. So you need to be quite confident in the way you uh, communicate ideas across, be quite level-headed and also think logically. No two spills are ever the same. So there will always be frustrations, there will always be problems that will pop up. Uh, you have to sort of approach it with a positive mindset and be flexible and be open to new ideas. Some ideas may not work, but you can actually take elements from that idea and implement it into a brand new one. And I think one of the most important aspects is uh, leading a team confidently. So not only does leading a team confidently improve your own confidence, but it improves, inspires them as a team to also be accountable for their actions. Uh, you can be in the office at one point doing some pap uh, paperwork, reports, things like that. Or you can be out on the field um, on a vessel somewhere or a shoreline looking at a sky full of stars. Um, so if you're an adventurous person, um, if this, or if you're just someone that wants to go out of their comfort zone a bit, uh, I'd say give it a go. And if you look good in orange, <laughs> you should join OSRL.